Охуеть. Охереть. Охуеть, глянь. А, вылетает, да? Садит, стоит. А. Просто капец. Это где там? Походу, это около своей работы, да? Мама говорит, что это может быть это... Он говорит, может быть, нефтебаза. Просто деревня полевая. Вообще горит ужас. Что ты? Свести что-то. Вообще жесть. на камере блин непонятно там вообще огонь сильно может быть там это осколки все такое горящее попало но я не верю то что на это могу прям сам беспилотик попасть Асу 34 fighter has crashed in Russia's Volgograd region while performing a training flight, the Russian Ministry of Defense said on Saturday. During a scheduled training flight, a Su-34 aircraft of the Russian Aerospace Forces crashed in the Volgograd region. The crew ejected, and there is no threat to the lives of the pilots. The plane crashed in a deserted area. The flight was carried out without ammunition, the ministry clarified in a statement published in local media. According to the ministry statement, there was no destruction on the ground. The ministry stressed that the preliminary cause of the fighter's crash was a technical malfunction. A commission under the Russian Aerospace Forces is working on the site of the crash. It should be noted that, another Su-34 fighter belonging to the Russian Aerospace Forces crashed in the mountains of North Ossetia on June 11. According to the Ministry of Defense, the crew of the plane was killed. The ministry said the crash had been caused by a technical malfunction. According to TASS news agency reports, there were two pilots on board the Su-34, and the plane crashed in the mountains of the Alagir region. <laughs> Ukrainian reconnaissance drone struck a Tu-22M3 long-range strategic bomber, a missile carrier, at the Olenia airfield in Russia. A Tu-22M3 long-range supersonic bomber missile carrier was struck at the Olenia military airfield, the base of the strategic aircraft of the Russian occupiers, as a result of a DAU's operation near Olenogorsk, media of Ukraine reported. Distance from the border of Ukraine to the place of the special operation is 1,800 kilometers. On the night of July 27 and in the morning of the same day, Ukraine's intelligence attacked the air base in Engels in the Saratov region, Diagelevo air base in the Ryazan region, and Olenia air base in the Murmansk region. The attack by kamikaze drones also damaged an oil refinery in Ryazan. According to eyewitnesses, the first explosions at the Diagelevo airfield occurred around 6 a.m. local time. Social media posted footage of overflights and smoke, reporting at least three explosions. This airfield is home to the 43rd Center for the Combat Use and Retraining of Russian Aircrew. 295MS, 222M3, 2134UBL, and IL-78 aircraft are based here, and an aircraft repair plant is located nearby. The explosions at the Engels Air Base, where Russian strategic aviation is stationed, were around 8 a.m. local media reports indicate that Russian air defense tried to shoot down the drones but with no success. According to the sources, a Tu-22M3 long-range supersonic bomber missile carrier was damaged as a result of the hit on the Olenia Air Base. The results of the UAV's hits on other Russian military targets are currently being clarified. At night, Russians reported a drone attack on the Bryansk and Kursk regions. There were explosions there and air defense systems were operating. 
Russian Ministry of Defense said that a total of 12 drones were shot down over the territory of Russia that night, in the Kursk, Belgorod, Rostov, Bryansk, Lipetsk regions.